Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. I'm Glenda Calkins, your Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Today I have another one sheet wonder to show you. This time we are going to be using a 12 by 12 sheet of the Friendly Hello Designer Series Paper. Now this paper pack with the stamp set that coordinates with it is free during celebration with a minimum $100 order. Now celebration ends February 28th. So that means you only have a few more days to get in your order and get this bundle for free. But you are going to love today's cards. We are going to be making two, four, six, eight, eight cards out of one 12 by 12 sheet. Let's change the camera and get started. All right. So here is the goodies. This is the celebration with a minimum hundred dollar order you're going to get the you can choose to get the stamp set with the paper pack now you're going to get them both they are free in a bundle with a minimum hundred dollar order they are the friendly hello stamp set with the designer series paper and it is 12 by 12. we're going to use this print right here for our cards today but gorgeous double-sided prints in this pack i love the color combinations so pretty and spring-like colors. Let's get started on cutting this up. So we're going to cut our first strip at four inches. We're going to cut into strips here. So we got four inches. The next strip that we're going to cut is going to be three inches. The next strip we are cutting is, let me verify here. Um, I don't want to cut wrong. The next strip is one and three quarters. One and three quarters. So we did four inches, three inches, one and three quarter, or right, one and three quarters. Correct, one and three quarters. Now we're going to do one and a quarter. So our strips are four by 12, three by 12, one and three quarters by 12, one and a quarter by 12. And then we have this two inch piece left over here. We're gonna take this piece and we're going to take the rectangle punch. So I'm going to show you different ways to use this punch today. So we're going to bring this in and punch. And we are going to punch so we get eight strips out of here. So I wanted to show you different ways that you can use this rectangle postage stamp punch I'm gonna get one more here. so we'll start with those little pieces first so you're going to you want to pick a print that you like both the front and the back and then we're going to just kind of Put them in different orders. Let's see. Kind of like that. But I like to look at the prints to see if there's any side that I like better. Like I like that big flower. So I'm going to use that. And then I'll flip these like that. I like that because of the matting that I'm going to do. So I'm going to take these pieces. And I'm going to take two pieces of the petal pink and we're going to attach them like so. Now this petal pink piece is four and a quarter, four and a quarter by two and three quarters. 
And I will put all the measurements below the video. So if you click on show more, you'll see all the measurements come up. Now we're just going to attach all our little punched out pieces. If you like to have them all the same, you can do that. I just like the little reverse and flip them. Like that. Now we'll do this one. So my cardstock colors came from the Designer Series Paper Pack. should have been moved down a little bit. That looks a little high. Let's see if I can move it. That looks better. Okay, now we're going to take these and I took some pool party, which is what we have going on here, and I ran it through my cut and emboss machine inside the new gingham embossing folder. So we're going to take them. Our card base is going to just be basic white, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Go ahead and fold those up. Just going to take our liquid glue and attach those to the front. Do that with both of these. Whenever I have a textured or not smooth card surface, I use the liquid glue instead of the stamp and seal. Got something on there. There we go. All right, now I'm I'm actually going to glue these down as well, only because I'm going to pop up the sentiment. I don't like to have too many layers popped up. So again, this whole bundle that I'm using today is a celebration freebie, which means when you spend 100 you can choose this bundle that I'm using today for free. Now I'm using the Shaded Spruce Ink, which is in that paper. Grab it. And one of the stamps from the coordinating stamp set is hope you have a have the best birthday so I'm gonna just stamp that just basic way of using nothing special this is just a basic way to use the postage stamp punch for your sentiment so easy easy I'm gonna pop those up with the dimensionals like that. Now you can come in with, if you want to pull out that fresh freesia, that's that purple there, you can add those rinds or jewels I should say. Alright. If you don't have these jewels, maybe you have 
which you probably do, the clear rhinestones. They look just as pretty. Just like that. Pretty, pretty either way. Gorgeous. So those are your first two. All right, now the next strip. Let's go back to that four inch strip, which was the very first one. We're gonna cut that into three inch. So it was four by 12, now we're gonna do each, this four by 12 is gonna be three by four. So now we should have, make sure that this is true to size. We should have four pieces that are three by four, all right? And then I'm gonna take that piece that was three, we went three by 12, and we're gonna cut that at four inches, and at four inches. Make sure that this is a true. So we should have three pieces now that are three by four. Then we're gonna take that one and three quarters and we are going to cut that at five and a quarter. All right, this piece, not gonna do anything with it. It's too, well, you could put, make a small postage stamp with it. This is the one and a quarter inch strip and we're gonna cut that at five and a quarter and you have another little piece left over. So first we'll take, we'll go back to these pieces here. Now you're gonna have some that are gonna go this way, some that will go up and down. So I kinda just like to take my pieces and determine depending on where that pretty little bird is, will determine which piece I want to use where. So let me see, this one could go this way. Um, hmm. I think I will save this for another card that we'll be doing. And I'll save this for that one. And let's see here. Um, I think I might do this on that piece, this on that piece, and then, let's see, I have these two there, alright, so I think I'm all set now. The card bases are going to be basic white. Now a lot of these, the designer series paper was cut the same. So if there's one fold you like better or one design you like better, you can go ahead and use it for your different prints. So we're gonna go like this for these two. And we're just gonna attach them. Now this petal pink is three and a quarter by four and a half. Oh, and I'm out of tape. Out of tape. in business. Okay, so now we're going to attach this. 
We're going to take the one and a quarter inch strips, that's the skinnier ones, and we're going to flip them and we're going to attach those to our fronts like so. so I'm just going to put my adhesive on here. We're going to attach it along the side on both of those. Now this one I'm going to attach, you can do this however you want, you can pop it up, you can attach it down. This one I'm going to attach it down, like so. On this one, I'm going to stamp my sentiment here across the bottom, which I could do on that one too, but I'm just showing you all your different options. It's there. This one I'm going to pop up. So we we'll put that like so. And this one, I'm going to call it good. I got my sentiment on, my paper's the way I like it, so that one I'm going to call good. This one, I'm going to create a sentiment for my tag for the front here. Now I'm going to take the, now we all have, at least I have, bunches of these little basic white strips from when we cut our cardstock down. So I'm going to use this strip. I'm going to bring in my sentiment again, and I'm going to stamp that just like that. I'm going to bring in a piece, so i got to cut a strip here, I think that would be easiest, of the petal pink, and I'm going to just run that across there. And I'm going to stick that down. And I'm going to bring in my postage rectangle punch here. And punch. So now I have it like this. Now if you wanted to cut this down a little bit, all you have to do is just take another one of them little strips you have. I'm just going to make like a little holder for the back side. It makes it way easier. Because you can make this smaller, you can make it larger. I'm going to use that to come in. And if I just want to make that a little bit smaller, bring it back in like that. Punch. And you can make it a little smaller. I can bring it in again. Take that piece off. and make it smaller in the other direction. So I'm going to match up my sides and punch and I have it smaller yet. So you can make the rectangle skinny however you like it, but we're going to take this, we're going to pop this up, take off my little piece there. We're going to pop this up right here, just like that. So if you wanted to, you could add some of those rhinestones, some pearls, whatever you like. But those are your next two cards right there. All right. Now for the next one, we're going to do a little bit different fold. We have the pool party for our base and our card is actually six by five and a half and then it's scored at four inches. And there's two different directions you can go with this card. 
So I'm going to go ahead and attach this to my pool party base. Like so. Same with this one. All right, we're going to bring in those pieces. Now I have, let's see, I can do one going this way and then one going that way. So you can do it in either direction. I'm going to come in with a couple more of these petal pink pieces. And attach that. Then we have those one and three quarter inch strips. You're going to flip them and that's going to go on that little panel right there. It's going to go right to the edge, just like that. Now for this one, I'm going to go like this with it. So I'm going to put my adhesive just across the top section here because we don't want to stick it to the inside of our card. So we're going to go like that. All right, this one we're going to put down on the other side. Just like that. We're going to attach this one going that way. All right, now what we're gonna do for our sentiment, we're gonna do it a little bit different again. Take a strip. We're gonna stamp the strip. We're gonna take the banner punch I'm going to bring that in and make it a little bit closer. There we go. I'm going to do both ends. Like that. We're going to take that rectangle punch again. We're going to punch. We're just going to take that banner piece and bring it across just like so. That gives you another little different way of using that rectangle. I'm going to pop this up with some dimensionals. Put that on there like so. For the next one, we're going to take another little strip. Just another way to use your rectangle coming up here. Ink, stamp the strip. Going to take that rectangle punch. Got more than one strip here. We're going to bring this in and we're going to just punch. It's going to give your ends that fun postage stamp edge. We're going to do the same to this side. I'll come in a little bit more. All right, you're going to take a piece of the petal pink. Another strip, and then you're going to do the same thing, punch your ends on that one. So we're going to pop this up.
We're going to put that one right there. So there you have those two. Aren't those fun? Like I said, depending on how your print went, you can go in any direction. All right, the next two, we're going to take a white base. And on one of them, we're going to use the pool party with the gingham again. So we're going to attach that. Going to take our print and attach that. We're going to stick this right down onto our card base. Just like that. Now we're going to just stamp on that strip just like I showed you before, but this time we're going to leave it as is. We're not going to mat it on an additional color. And I'm just going to put that across here like so. So that's easy enough. I'm going to do two of those. The last piece you're going to take. Well, actually, no. One of those I just showed you. You're going to take the other piece you got left over, and one's going to go that way, and one is going to go that way. So we're going to take this. And attach that. Like so. This is going to be matted onto our blushing bride. like that. Now I'm going to, this time I think I'm going to pop this up. And I'm not going to put a sentiment on this one. Sometimes I like to leave my sentiments off for when I need a card for a certain occasion. Then I can add a sentiment then. Easy enough to do. You can leave it open a little bit more here if you like, but I'm going to center this because I can always add a sentiment up in the corner here if I wanted to add a little something or just a strip, however you wanted to do it. But those are your, let's see, what did we do? Two, four, six. We got these were the last two, and then we have these fun ones, and we have the postage stamp ones, and then the first, these were the first two, and then we did these, but two, four, six, eight, there you go, eight gorgeous cards out of one 12 by 12 of the Friendly Hello Designer Series Paper, which is free during celebration, which ends February 28th, which is soon, Monday. It is coming up. So if you would like to get your hands on this free bundle of products, place a minimum $100 order on my blog or my website, www.thestampcamp.com. Use that host code at the top that you see in the video, and you can choose this bundle for your free. It is free during celebration, which ends February 28th, and then this will no longer be around to get, so now's your time. 
If you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure that you like, share, follow me, click on that bell in the upper right hand corner so you always know when I go live. That is it for today. All the list of supplies will be under the video under show more as well as the links to my store so you can purchase the supplies you need and get this bundle for free. That is it for today. Thanks for stopping by.